Hello everyone, you are welcome to today's class. So in this class, we want to solve questions on arithmetic operations with uh, fractions. So the first question we have here is uh, on a mixed uh, operation. So we're going to have four, we have four, whole number five all over nine divided by 2 whole number 1 all over 18 right divided by 2 whole number 2 all over 11 so what we're going to do here we're going to take everything to improper fraction so that is 4 times 9 this is 9 here so 4 times 9 uh, that gives 36 plus 5 that gives 41 divided by 9 right then this division this division line here we change this to this right so 2 times 18 that's 36 plus 1 that gives 37 divided by what 18 then division we have here before then we change this this is 2 times 11 22 plus 2 that gives us 24 divided by 11 i hope i'm making sense and the next is to change the vision to, to multiplication. So let's see how we go. So we're going to have it. So what is going to happen here? So we're going to do flip. So we're going to flip. That is 41. The first fraction remains as it is. So we change the first division by to multiplication. Then the next fraction will be flipped. We flipped it, that means we have 18 divided by what? 37. Then the next one will also be what? Be changed to multiplication. Then we flip the next fraction, that be 11 all over what? 24. Right? So, uh, so the next is now to see which one can divide. So 9 can go in 18, that is 2. 2 can go in 24, that is 12. So what else can go? There's no number that can go. 3 cannot go in 41. Likewise, 3 cannot go in 11. This is 37. Uh, there's no number that can go in 37. In that case, we're going to have 41 multiplied by 11 divided by 37 multiplied by what? 12. So what do we have? So 41 multiplied by 11 gives us 451 divided by 37 multiplied by 12. That gives us 444. So as you can see, 444 is less than 400. That would be going to be one whole number. Then 451 minus 444. And that gives us 7 all over what? 444. Exactly. So, which means the answer is this option D. That's option D. So, we have it in the option there. Exactly. So, let's move to the next one. And question number two, we have this. Uh, this we have four. Excuse me. We have four. Four O number two over five everything divided by two o number so that is divided by two o number divided by two o number seven all over ten plus one o number one all over two so what we're going to do here we do the same thing but we're going to group the denominator together. So let's change everything to improper fraction. So that means 4 times 5, 20 plus 2, 22. All over what? 5. Divided by, we open a bracket for this. 2 times 10 is 20 plus 7. 7 all over 10. Plus 3, 1 times 2. That is 2 plus 1. That is 3. 
all over what? All over two. Three all over two. Right? So the next is what we're going to do. We're going to solve what we have inside the brackets. Inside the bracket first. So that is 22 all over 5 divided by then we're going to find what is the LCM of 10 and 20. That is 10, right? 10 in 10 is 1. That is 27. 1 times 27 is 27 plus 2 in 10. That is 5. 5 times 3, that gives us 15, right? So we then have 22 over 5 divided by, we add this together, that is a 42, right? Divided by what? Divided by 10. Then we can then flip the division. Now we change division to multiplication, then we flip the, frag, the next fraction. So that means we're going to have uh, 22 over 5 times 10 over what? 42. So we can then divide now. Let's cut. 5 can go here, 1. 5 can go here. That is 2. Uh, 2 can go here, 1. 2 can go here. That is uh, 21. You have any other thing that can go? Uh, no. That means we're going to have 22 divided by what? 21. In that case, our final answer will then be 1 whole number, 1 all over 21. I hope this is clear and that is option b option b so we we'll move to the next uh, the next uh, question for question number three we have this is straightforward for question number three so what we're going to do we're going to have two over three multiplied by 72 divided by 104, then multiply by two number, excuse me, two number, two number, two all over three. So what we're going to do next, we change this improper fraction, uh, mixed number to improper fraction. Then we have two over three, times 72 over 104 times that is 2 times 3 6 plus 2 that is 8 over what 3 so we can we can then divide now so 3 can go in 72 so 3 in 7 that is 3 uh 2 rather 2 remainder 1 in 12 that is 4 then 3 can still go in 24 that is 8, right? 2 can go here, 1. 2 can go here, that is 52, right? So 2 can go, that is 26. 2 here can go, that is 4. 2 can see go, 2. 2 can go here, 13. You have any other thing that can go? Nothing. So we then have, what we have ne left here is 8. Multiply by 2 divided by what 13 and that gives a uh, That gives us 16 divided by what 13 and that gives one whole number 3 all over 13 and that is option D As you can see it See there so we move to the next one Question number four So we have question number four here so the which is five. So which is five whole number four over nine. Excuse me. So five whole number four over nine. Four over nine plus seven whole number one over three plus one all over 12. So what we're going to have here, we also change everything to improper uh, fraction. So that gives five times nine, 
which is uh, 45 plus 9 plus 4, that is 49, divided by what? 9. Plus 7 times 3, that is 21, plus 1, 22, divided by what? 3, plus 1 all over 12. Since what we have between the fractions is a uh, plus, so we're going to find the LCM of the denominators, which is 9, 3, and uh, 12. So what is what can go in everything? So it's 36, but let's see. Let me show you how you're going to get it here. Something we've done before. So this is 9, this is 3, this is 12. 3 can go, 2 can go. Let's start with 2, 9. We repeat 3, this is 6. 2 can see go, we have 9. We have three, we have three. So three can go three, one, one. Three can go one, one, one. So two times two, that is four. That is four times nine. Four times nine equal to what? 36. So that means it is what? The LCM is 36. So the next is two. Now nine divided by, 36 divided by nine, that gives four. So four times 49. So 4 times 49 gives us 4 times 49 gives us 196. So this will be 196 plus 36 divided by 3, that is 12. So that means 12 times 22, that gives 264 plus uh, 36 divided by 12, that is what? 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So we then had the numerators together. So that is 196 plus 264 plus 3. That gives 463 divided by what? 36. That gives us. So we can then uh, see if three, if a number can divide everything here. So let's look at it. Uh, 4 plus that's 13. No, 3 cannot go. So 2 cannot go. So what we're going to do is let's divide it by 36. And see what we're going to have. So we have 36 whole number. That is 36. 36 whole number, right? Uh, that is 36 times 36. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 463 divided by 36. That gives 12. This is 12. So this is going to be 12 whole number. So 12 times 36, that gives 432 four, four, minus 463. That gives 31 over 36. 31 divided by 36. That is option C. Option C, as you can see there. So the next one is the last question. Let's look at it now. So this is the last question here, question number five. So we have simplify four O number one over two minus one O number four all over five, right? Plus two O number two over three minus one. So what we're going to do, we change everything to improper fraction. This will be what 9 over 2 minus 9 over 5, right? Plus uh, 6, 8 over 3 minus 1 over 1. So since it's 1, it's going to be 1 over 1. To find the LCM again. What's the LCM of 2, 5, 3? and then one so lcm of two five three one we do the same thing so what we're going to do just multiply the three numbers together two times five is ten times three that is what thirty thirty is the lcm so thirty divided by two fifteen so fifteen times nine nine times fifteen and that gives a uh, one hundred and then thirty five minus uh 30 divided by 5, that is 6, 
uh, 6 times 9, and that gives 54. Plus uh, three, 30 divided by 3, that is 10, plus 8 times 8, that is 80, minus 1 in 30, that is 30, times 1, that is 30. So we then perform the operation. That is going to be 135 minus 54 that gives 81 81 plus 80 minus 30 that gives 131 100 and what 31 divided by what 30 so let's see let's see what our final answer will be so that means we're going to divide it by 30 divided by 30 and that gives 40 number Four O number. So thirty times four is one twenty. Is one twenty. So minus one thirty one minus one thirty one that gives eleven. That gives eleven all over what thirty. So that is option A. Option A. That is option A. So this is where we're going to end this video. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure what you turn on your notification bell. So anytime I release video like this, be able to have a get notification of it and benefit. So bye for now. Meet our next class.